on Thursday, the 11th of January, 2024, um, Tando Benis, on board the transport vehicle, she was shot dead by Trigger Happy uh, Gendarme B from La Republic du Cameroon in Okoyo, Mamfe. This is not only one of its kind type of uh, crimes that have been committed uh, in Southern Cameroon by the occupational forces of La Republic du Cameroon. We've known about incidents like that of Ngabu. We know about Ndiale. We know about Brandy, all toddlers kids who were returning back from school and they were being shot, you know, on the, on the head by forces of La Republic to Cameroon. This is not the first incidents or the first instances like I just mentioned earlier. However, we also know of the Egbeko, the Egbeko, the Egbeko, we know the Egbeko incident on the 6th of November 2023, which happened in the same style. Now, what, what is the response of the international community? The international community will only come and say La Republic du Cameroon should investigate these, the perpetrators of these acts and bring them to book. How is it possible that the person who commits and investigate itself is not done anywhere it's not possible it's like asking israel to investigate crimes in Hama in, in gaza it's like asking russia to investigate the uh, crimes in ukraine it's not possible it's not done anywhere the blood of the people of southern cameroon is also a human blood the people of southern cameroon are also humans and they need intervention yes the unanimous intervention from the international community this intervention in terms of humanitarian in terms of investigations to bring perpetrators to book we are talking about an eight-year conflict 2016 to 2024 an eight-year conflict that has been going on and has been ravaging claiming lives of so many people and nothing is being done at this particular level i it come this time i can tell when i say this one what people then they in a situation where they call themselves genocide. Yes, that's what it's called. That's exactly what it's called because this officer, this gendarme or B officer who, who, who was so happy, she was so happy to, to pull her trigger. She cannot do this in Yaoundé. She cannot do this in Douala. She cannot do this anywhere else, but she can happily do this in Southern Cameroon. Well, how then do we call this? How do we call this? Because they know that they are forces of occupation. Her name, the victim's name is Tando Benis. Tando Benis. Yes, she's the victim of an incomplete decolonization process. Yes, an incomplete decolonization process on the 1st of October 1961. That is the consequences of this process happening. In, we are witnessing it right in front of us. What then are they waiting for? What is the international community waiting for? Yes, the people of Southern Cameroon have decided to take their destiny into their own hands because there is no way help can come from. There is no place where help will come from. Of, that is the truth. If we don't take our destiny in our own hands, we risk being annihilated. We risk being extinct from the planet Earth by La Republic of Cameroon in a singular purpose to occupy our territory, to get all the natural resources and from them to Yaoundé because we have seen how they, they have done everything possible to assimilate us, but we said never again, and it will not work. This is the time. When is the international community going to respond? It is the right time. How long do they want more? What amount, how much time do they need to intervene? I am bringing this to the notice of everybody that La Republic du Cameroon, all their forces on in, um, in Southern Cameroon, they are acting as occupational forces. Because if there is anything that pursuing an argument anywhere with any force of occupation in La Republic du Cameroon, whether it be it with a bike rider, be it with a normal a, a, a civilian who goes about her, his or her day-to-day -day activity, the next thing will be to pull the trigger. That is what they have been doing. It is a form of intimidation. It is a form of suppression. It is a form of oppression. And it is well calculated. And we call it 
colonization, modern day colonization. This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. The people of Southern Cameroon are on the defensive end to defend themselves from the brutal, barbaric, rock occupational forces of La Republic of Cameroon. Mm -hmm. What else do you need? What else do you want? The people cannot sit and fold their arms. You expect them to sit, fold their arms and cry? Hell no. Hell no. My people will not sit, fold their arms and cry, but they will rise up, stand up, defend themselves from this particular invasion. Yes, war crimes in uh, Ukraine, war crimes in Gaza are the same war crimes in Southern Cameroon. There is a need for immediate action. Yes, there is a need for immediate action. Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, I call on you all, United Nations Human Rights Commission, I call on you all. It is the time to call for a United Nations Security Council back fact-finding mission to bring perpetrators of all the crimes that are taking place in Southern Cameroon to book. This is the time. This is the time. There is no other time. How long do you need? How much time do you need? The people of Southern Cameroon are asking just for this one, this one thing, to send a fact-finding mission to investigate the crimes and bring perpetrators to book and address the root cause, the root cause of this particular conflict that has been going on eight years as at this time that I am making this video. My name is Fabiano Deco, Ambazonian and human rights activist and a self-defense advocate. Thank you. And you can follow us for more videos, more updates, more information concerning the liberation struggle of the people of former British Southern Cameroon. This is, this is, we are undergoing new form of colonialism, new form of colonization. Yes, the third option was never put on the table in 1961. It is a blow, it is a violation of our rights, and we say no to this. The right to self-determination is a human right, and yes, we will stand by it, and we will continue to stand strong until the end. Thank you very much. You can follow us on Facebook. You can follow us on Instagram. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You subscribe to our YouTube channel and as well on Twitter for more updates concerning the Amazonian liberation struggle. The people of Southern Cameroon, they have undergoing the highest form of inhumane treatment. It is unacceptable. It doesn't happen like that anywhere in the world. Eight years of continuous uh, uh, mayhem, continuous genocide by La Republic of Cameroon, backed by France, is unacceptable. It's unacceptable.